Attorney Ben Johnson, based on his timeline, was sworn testimony from teachers and counselors. Johnson says there were troubling signs with the shooting suspects since the first week of school last August. Signs that Johnson believes should have been caught and handled. First and foremost, what we now know is this. From literally the beginning of school. Ethan Crumley was evidencing signs of being highly troubled. In the first week of school, August 2021, Johnson says the suspect was drawing on a note card in class. He says the suspect drew a firearm, but that the drawing was not seen by a teacher until Monday, November 29th, the day before the shooting. On September 8th, 2021, Johnson says an email was sent by a different teacher to a counselor asking for the counselor to talk to Crumbly. On November 10th, Johnson says another teacher sent an email to a counselor saying the suspect was having a tough time. According to the attorney, this was the email sent. I had a student during first hour today, Ethan Crumley, who was on his phone looking at different bullets at the end of the first hour today as I was walking around the room passing uh, out their essays. I didn't get a chance to investigate it a bit further since it was the end of the hour. Now that he's on my radar, on my Radar. Parents were in the room as Johnson laid out this timeline. The parents of 16 year old Tate Muir, who was among the four students shot and killed, are upset they're just now hearing these details. Folks in the school aren't talking. And if they are talking, they're going to start investigating and they're going to start talking to students and they're going to get this story. If they're chasing it, something happens. Okay? Something gets addressed. The mother of another student, Justin Schilling, who was shot and killed, was filled with emotion and anger. We have four angels that are, they're gone. You know, um, I can't find an excuse for dropping the ball. Johnson feels this shooting could have been avoided. Had one of the adults, the teachers, the counselors, the assistant principal, the dean of students done their job this information would have been known on that Monday. Everybody assuming that everybody else is doing something and no one's doing anything. For months now, parents in the district have been calling for the resignation of board members. They felt were not getting the answers as to what happened in the days leading up to the shooting, November 30th at Oxford High School that claimed the lives of four students. In Michigan now is Courtney Bennett joining us now. And Courtney, you were able to talk with some parents. Um, what are they telling you? Stephanie, one mom I talked to said they have spent the last 10 months searching for answers, answers they feel they have not been given by this board. Now, with this shakeup, she hopes that they can get some change on the board. On November 30th, 2021, a student at Oxford High School is accused of opening fire, killing four students and injuring six other students and one teacher. Since that day, the district has hired an outside firm to do an independent investigation into the events leading up to that tragic day and the moments on that day before and during the shooting. Details of that day have only been provided in Oakland County District Court, where the suspect, who is now 16 years old, and his parents are both charged in the shooting. Andrea Jones is part of the Change for Oxford parent group. She has one student at the high school and one at the middle school. Jones is hoping for change. I would like to see all of the board members uh, step up and with integrity uh, we're coming up on a year and we still really don't know anything more than we did the first week that this happened. Um, and so I think this community, we need that to heal. Um, and that's kind of what feels like it's been taken away from us. Our the district has been back in school for almost a month now. Jones says the district has implemented different safety measures at the high school level when it comes to weapons detection software. And in regards to the resignation of those two board members, the president and treasurer, the district did release statements on both of those and they have posted the board positions.